late that night. Matthew gone again. He didn't want to sleep on the pullout, and as I soon learned, it was just as well. No, not just as well. It was better. I got to spend the whole night with just her. No sharing, no small talk, no deciding, no details, no normal life stuff. Just life. Just the room, the dark, except the street lamps below the half-drawn blinds and a simple light behind the bed dimmed to almost nothing. So this is motherhood, I thought, as I stared at Poppy's face. This is who I am now. Strange that I'm not scared. Everyone says you'll be scared, but I feel good. I feel confident. It feels simple. Here's this little alive thing, sort of like a plant, except that I am her air and sunlight, her photosynthesis. She needs me completely, and I accept the challenge. That is the way this thing works. It's the most straightforward relationship I've ever had. Honestly, that was it. That was my conclusion. I would be the giver, she'd be the taker. And I was fine with that. It was when I expected something, when I needed someone to behave a certain way. That was the situation I worried about. Which is why, lying in bed that night, there was only one thing I was worried about, and it had nothing to do with the baby. It was Matthew. What's he going to be like now that we have a kid, I wondered. Will he be the same person? For that matter, will I? Will being parents affect the way we treat each other, how we are together? How will our relationship change? And as it turned out, I was right to be nervous, because while that first year with Poppy was one of the best of my life, it was the worst for me and Matt. Matt. 